First, go to screencastify.com and click Add to Chrome. It'll take you to the Extensions page, and you're going to click the Add to Chrome button. Then click Add Extension, and you should see it appear in your toolbar here at the top. I'll explain what to do later if you don't see it. But when you see it, click on it, and it'll ask you to sign in with your Google account. You might need to hit sign in to your Google account twice, like I did here. And then when the window pops up, just click your Henrico email account. Click Next to set up your microphone. Hit Allow. And then you'll have to hit Allow again. Now you should be all set. As you can see, I don't see it in my toolbar. So if you don't see it, you would just click the puzzle piece, and you will see it. And you can pin it to have it appear or unpin it to make it disappear, and that's also where you could remove it. Now go to the tab where you want to record, hit the icon in your toolbar, and notice you can choose browser tab, your whole desktop, or just the webcam. You can also decide whether to use your microphone and webcam, you can turn those off, and change the countdown or drawing tools. When you're ready, hit record, and you'll see your webcam appear down the corner. So you can see your webcam is down here, but you can move it around. And then it also has this flip tool where if your words are backwards, you can flip it so that they're right side up. This button here will make it full screen. And then this button here will get rid of it. And then you can always get it back by coming down here to the toolbar and just hitting the webcam again. So if I was a teacher explaining this website, I would introduce it to the students. I might turn on my focus mouse, which would let me highlight different parts of the screen. I could also um, hide the cursor or highlight clicks. So if I wanted to point out that you're clicking on something, you see that red dot appears. And then you can also use the pencil tool. So you can choose a color. You can underline important things that you want the students to notice. You can circle things. You can also erase one at a time or parts, or you can erase the whole thing by clicking this button. That'll erase all your markings. There is a pause button if you need to take a break, but if you're all done recording, go up to the icon in your toolbar, click on it, and hit the stop button. Then it will take you to a page where you can edit your video a bit. Now, you don't have the editor, that's for the pro version, but you can trim parts of the beginning and the end. And what you do is you just drag the scissors where you want to cut, and then you would hit Save Trim and hit the Trim button. Unfortunately, you can't trim the middle of your video, just the beginning and the end. Once that's done, let's learn how to share it. You could copy a shareable link over here on the right side, or you could click More Options, and you could change the privacy of the video, Right now, mine is unlisted. Only people with a link can view it. But there are several other options that you can choose from. You can also view it on your drive, which I'll show you later. You can get the embed code. And you could also generate a QR code. You could also download the video in a variety of ways. So let's learn how to share it on Schoology. There's two ways you could do it. First, I'm going to show you how to just use the link. So I would copy the shareable link here. And then I would go to my Schoology page. And I have this plate tectonics assignment. So I'm going to click the gear and hit edit. And I want the link to appear in this section right here where I say watch this video. So I'm going to highlight the words this video. And I'm going to hit the link button and paste in the link to the video. And then hit insert and hit save changes. But there's another maybe better way where you can embed the video. Copy the embed code. Go to a part in your assignment where you'd like to paste the embed code, and you have to switch to HTML with this little dot here. Paste in the embed code. And notice there's a width and a height. You could type different numbers in there, but there is an easier way to resize your video. What you need to do is switch back to visual with that dot up there in the corner. Come down, and your video will just appear as a yellow box. You won't actually see your video until you hit Save Changes. But you can still resize it with this yellow box. Just make sure you don't resize it with the middle buttons. That sometimes squishes the video. And it doesn't look right. So resize it with the corner buttons. Then hit Save Changes. 
And now when your students click on the assignment, they should see your video embedded right within the assignment. And they can just hit the play button without having to click a link to go somewhere else. They could also click this button in the corner of the video to make the video pop out and be larger. Now let's look at where your videos go in Google Drive. So up here I have a tab to my Google Drive and you can see that there's a folder that Screencastify automatically creates in your Google Drive and that's where all your Screencastify videos will be saved. And that's another great way to share your video. You could just click on it and then click the link button and copy the link that way. You could also click the icon in the toolbar, click these three lines in the corner and click My Recordings. That's another way to access all your Screencastify recordings.